everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna to take a look at the By Terry Terrific Glow Eye Palette. This is limited edition, it came out for the holidays. There are 10 eye eyeshadows in here, matte and metallic shades. Um, the information on the site says 10 eye-catching shades, easily blendable and buildable, creamy texture, limited edition. So um, I have all the terrific palettes. I've done videos on all of them. I believe they're all limited edition. Um, the one that came out last year was I think a nine pan square, but I have these types as well. What I love about them when you first get them, the patterns that are on the eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful, but of course they get destroyed the minute you <laughs> use them, so don't get too attached. So I'll go ahead and swatch the shades for you. We'll do an eye look with it today, and also I wanna try for you the Dior Maximizer. This is in the Holographic Lavender. I have three shades, and I've used the Hazelnut shade, the it's 018, I forgot the other shade, um, and I haven't used this one on camera, so I'll use this one here. But I am definitely gonna pick up more of these. Absolutely love the formula. Yes, it is a little bit warming, but as I've mentioned a couple times, there's hyaluronic spheres in here, so it keeps your lips moisturized. So let's go ahead and swatch the palette uh, and then get to an eye look. Do you have on uh, By Terry most products? I'm either missing some By Terry products or I've gotten rid of them, possibly decluttered, um, maybe thrown some away because they went bad. But I do have the By Terry Terribly Denseless Foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations, but the the shade range is very limited and weird. Like it's hard to figure out what shades you are. Uh, but I do have that on. I also have on uh, By Terry Blush, which again, loved By Terry Blushes, but they're very limited, hard to find. I don't know if they're being reformulated. Uh, a lot of them seem to go out of stock and I got some on sale. Um, the CC Brightening Serum, I have this one. This one's an older one. It's not the new version. It, I'll see if I can get the name of it, but it basically was like the, the warming one, the one that's kind of like a bronzer to give my skin a little bit of bronzeness. Um, and that's it. That's, that's all I have on my face today. So I do need to pick up a few By Terry products. I haven't picked up like new By Terry in a while. Their serum foundation, it's like I think it's a serum foundation that I wanted to try in a couple things. So I'll take a look at the sales after the holiday. Um, okay, so this should be going up on the 29th if I've scheduled this correctly. I'm just looking at my calendar. And uh, this will be the last chance to enter the giveaway for the month. So basically what I'm doing is I have the overall giveaway, giveaway that you've seen on Instagram. I'm splitting it into three. So I have the first two winners. I've talked to one winner already. The second winner I haven't heard back from. And if I don't hear from a while, I'm not able to contact that person. I'll pick another one. But today's the 29th. It will be open until January 5th. So this is your last chance to enter. You All you have to do to comment on the video below. Um, if there's a way to for me to contact you on Instagram, put your Instagram handle. Don't put the at symbol before it, just the name, just the handle, and I'll figure it out. It's your Instagram handle and contact you there if you win. So again, open till the 5th. It ships to anywhere I can ship to. If I can't ship there, then I can't do it. But um, uh, I'm going to take the giveaway that's up on Instagram and split it into threes. So this will be the last uh, part of the giveaway. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. I really do hate to ruin the the designs, but otherwise you can't use the palette. Um, if you haven't used By Terry before, the formula is very soft. Um, the, the mattes are really blendable. The metallics are very creamy and very pigmented. Um, I really like her terribly line. I think the makeup that's in her terribly line is much better than like anything else that she has. I'm not exactly sure why, but, um, and I really am looking forward to trying the foundation because I really like the, the By Terry products. It's just, they tend to be more limited and I just don't have a chance like to try them in stores or anything. So, you know, it's harder to figure out what you want to pick up. But like I said, I need to check out the sales and see if there's anything that would work for my collection. I think this is like a purple and this is like a black. These two are mattes, obviously. These are metallics, matte and matte. Now oh, that's a pretty, it's like a metallic lavender a little bit. Yeah, I've never been disappointed in her terribly eyeshadow palettes. They've all been good. The only thing I'll say is that the shades aren't usually revolutionary. They're, you know, more neutral palettes. They're more everyday palettes. But again, that's what most of us are going to use. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, 
The metallics in here are very creamy, really beautiful. Metallic, 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 metallic. I think this is, I think this one feels like a satin, doesn't feel like a matte, but it's not as metallic as the others, so you can see the difference. All right. I'm also gonna use the new uh, Sonya G brushes that came out for the holidays. These are the three brushes, these are the eye brushes. I also have the Mount Fuji brush, which I'll show you in a minute. So this one is sort of a round ferrule and a short shader brush. This is a lay down brush. So is this one, it's a very tiny one. You can use that for a lot of detail work. And this is great for just the lid. And then the Mount Fuji brush, which I can do a comparison with some of the other brushes that I have. I think you are paying for the wood and the design of the handle, but. Um, so, the Dior Holographic Lavender, I'm gonna put on now so you can see it throughout the video. This one doesn't have as much pigment as the Hazel, I think the Hazelnut 045 or something like that, and the 018, um, but it imparts enough pigment to, you know, change, I did have a little bit of liner on, so whatever color you're wearing, um, but it does have that holographic kind of um, duochrome, kind of, you know, like a duochrome kind of look on your lips. It's really pretty, it's a beautiful color, it goes with a lot. You can also see that the shades do have pigment because um, they they will stain, so they have uh, lasting power if that's something you're looking for. Okay, so let's go in, let's do, Let's use this shade here to start this matte. And this is, uh, I would say, like almost like a terracotta shade a little bit. So it's warm. Um, it's got a little bit of a peach. Not getting any fallout, but these are um, a little more powdery. So you'll want to tap off your brush. Kind of go. And I'll take the new um, Sonya G brush. Let's use, I do get fallout in the, uh, in the pan itself. I'm gonna take the cream shade, that was the first shade, and I'm just gonna, actually I used the really tiny brush, um, the lay down brush, and use this in the brow. Hopefully everybody had a great holiday, whatever you were celebrating, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, had to spend time with friends and family, and hopefully got a little time off, that's always, always helpful. I feel like I spend most of my time off doing all the things that I didn't get done when I didn't have time off. But, you know, I think it's always good to just take some time and do a little bit of nothing um, so that you can kind of rest because I think a lot of us don't, don't do, or at least maybe I don't do that well. But yeah, it's a really great um, brow shade and I think that works really well um, as a like a light creamy tone because it's got a little bit of like peach to it. So that's nice, I like that. Okay, let's take um, let's take the blackest shade, and I'm going to use that just really lightly in the crease, just to deepen it up a little bit. And I did get some fallout with that. You can see down here, concentrating it on the outer corner. I didn't um, pick up a lot of my brush, but like I said, these are pigmented. I think this particular palette is sold out on the By Terry site. And like I said, it is limited edition, but I have seen it in, in other retailers. So I'm sure you can still pick it up. I'll make sure there's a link down below to, to one of them. But um, yeah, I think it's sold out on the on the By Terry site. All right, now let's see. What do I want to use? I'm trying to decide if I want to go with more of a lavender look or more of a, let's use, let's use the gold. Why not? All right, I'm going to take, the medium sized brush and I'm going to use, I'm trying to decide which, let's use that one. So we're going to use this shade here, which is a metallic on the outer corner. So I'm going to use the bigger brush. And I'm just going to kind of pat this on a little bit because I don't want it to be too much. Yeah, I think you could definitely get this to go cooler um, or warmer, depending on what you want to do today. This looks going to probably be a little bit warmer because I'm going to go with the gold tones. But if you go with the, the cooler tones in here, I think especially if you stick to like this side instead of this side, you're going to get 
that warmer, I mean that cooler look. Now I'm going to go with the, the golds, so we're going to get something a little warmer. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. All right. Now I'm going to take the, the shader brush, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go into the shade that we put on the outer and just kind of run that a little bit into the entire crease just to deepen it up a little. Really pretty look. All right, let me take the, trying to use as many shades as possible, um, this shade here, which is metallic. Use that on the lower lash line. Okay, finish look without um, the By Terry Mascara. I'm gonna put the By Terry Mascara on. We'll come back and uh, talk final thoughts. Back with mascara on. Mascara always makes all the difference. I'm just looking um, to see if I see it available. I see last year's the By Terry VIP, the Expert Bonjour palette, which is the night pan. That's still available in a lot of places. I highly recommend that one as well. Um, but this one, it, it is available at a couple of places, so you can still pick it up. Like I said, I'll make sure there's a link down below to somewhere. Um, and this one looks like uh, is on sale at some places, but originally was $56. The one from last year was also $56. So I did pick up mine on sale, um, and I am going to be looking at the Buy Terry site and some others to see uh, where there might be some deals. If there are some Buy Terry products that you'd like me to try out, certainly let me know. I am wearing the uh, Buy Terry... Mascara, this is the Double Effect Mascara. It's the Lash Expert Twist Mascara. I don't love this mascara. I think that um, it does it does give you kind of like a feathery effect and, and some lengthening and some volume, but I just find that the brush is not my favorite. Um, I don't know, I just, it, it's one of those prickly brushes, but I don't think it actually volumizes the, the my lashes the way I want them to, and it lengthens, but I've got other frankly, mascaras that like the better. So it's just, it's not one of my favorites. Um, like I said, I, I have been thinking about uh, purchasing the By Terry um, foundation. And there's a couple other products that I just, I haven't picked up a lot of new By Terry other than her terribly eyeshadow palette. So if there are products, certainly let me know because I'm going to take a look at, at all the sales. So, and in that vein, if there's other products that you think um, that I haven't reviewed this year and you'd like to to see, I'm absolutely interested in reviewing them if they're on sale. Like I said, I'm on my low buy now. So unless it's, you know, some of those spring releases that are part of the Chanel, Dior, or Tom Ford, um, or maybe a few other brands, I'm going to be much more... Um, cautious about what I pick up. So I need to hear from all of you about what you want to see. So soon you'll start seeing some of the collection videos that I've been talking about. Let me know also below if there's uh, particular collections you're interested. I've already gotten some feedback about all the Chantecaille Shanta lip sheiks, the, Sh the Chanel lipsticks, um, and I have a few others that I absolutely will do, but uh, those take a while to put together, but they'll be up soon. And the giveaway, as I said, this is the last chance to enter the giveaway. Just make sure you comment on this video, you like this video, you're subscribed. And if you can put something like uh, your Instagram handle, don't put the at symbol because it'll take it out. Your whole comment will take out. Um, I'll make sure to, to contact you that way. So thanks so much for watching. And I think this will be the last video of 2022. I'm not absolutely sure, but if it is, thanks so much for watching. I will have like a wrap up kind of year end type of thing uh, video, but it'll go up in January. that will talk about, you know, 2022. I've already done my best of and my worst of. So you guys have those. But again, thanks so much for watching in 2022. And if I don't talk to you before, happy 2023.